Okay, I'm going to share with you my first session impressions on the Rollerblade Blank TB64 frame. This is, I should mention, this is courtesy of Eddie of Shreddy and courtesy of Tree Tree Rudolph. Shreddy gave his pair, if you notice at the beginning of this video that these were slightly used, uh, Shreddy gave a pair to Tree who then skated them a little bit and then gave them to me or, or let me borrow them. So anyway, I want to give a big thank you to both of them, Shreddy and... Uh, Tree Tree Rudolph and of course Rollerblade for making the frame in the first place. So anyway, before I get into my thoughts, we're going to go over to the kind of website really quick and just take a closer look at what we got going on. Blank TB64 frame. Uh, we got 60 bucks. We're right on their website, by the way, rollerblade.com. They come in two different sizes. Uh, one that goes all the way from size six to nine. It's a 240. What do we got? Actually, size one fits size six US slash 240 to nine US 270. I guess that's Mondo. Uh, with a wheelbase of 250. That's one thing that was a little bit confusing because I have size, I used size one. My factions are size nine or nine and a half. One of the two, I think they're nine. But on here you can see it says the big serial number oh, on the other side, the big serial number and then a 240. Uh, but they're saying it's a wheelbase of 250 here. A little bit confusing. I'm probably just misinterpreting that. And then size two fits size nine, 270 Mondo to 12 and a half US with a 305 Mondo with a wheelbase of 270. Um, after all was said and done, I probably would have liked to have the 270s. These felt just a bit short. Okay, this frame is for skaters that ride flat, uh, ride flat or rocker. The TB64 has the versatility of a flat 4x64 setup or the custom rocker with unbelievable durability and performance. Less wheel bite, more access to frame bolts, new H block design and wheel spacing, uh, reduce wheel bite and allow easier access to frame bolts. And I will say it did allow easier access to frame bolts. That was one thing I did notice, but I'll get into that maybe a little bit later. Zytel Composite. This is the first time I've seen this word, I think. Zytel Composite Universal Frame System Construction. Okay. Uh, includes all mounting hardware, eight axles, four frame mounting bolts. The first time I saw this frame, I was like in very intrigued because this looks really, really cool. I mean, just to, to me, it was a very like appealing uh, sort of silhouette and it had me really intrigued. All right, so let me get into what I thought. I skated them on the Simatics, kind of dual durometer, uh, 58 millimeter 88s here, 92s here. Great wheels, by the way. Out of the box, the frames feel good. They, they're not the lightest frames around, but whatever, they're pretty big. So in hindsight, I probably would have skated them with larger wheels um, just to get kind of the full experience instead of skating them with 58s. Like I mentioned earlier, I probably would have got the size 2 uh, frame. Have a little bit of a longer, just to have a little bit of a longer wheelbase. These are just borderline, probably too short for me. So they're a little bit twitchy for me, which some people, of course, would probably prefer that. But for me, they're a little bit... They just didn't feel as stable as I'm used to, but that's probably also because I generally ride flat. Uh, I generally generally ride anti row share, and so even going to any flat frame is probably going to seem a little bit twitchy anyway. And if you know me, like I don't skate flat very often. I generally don't enjoy skating flat very often. So am I a little bit biased here? Probably, but I try to go into this with an open mindset and try to give any and every product a fair shake and an unbiased opinion. So the very first thing I noticed when I actually went to go use these frames, and if you know me, you know I'm a grinder blader. That's why I skate creates. That's why I skate anti-rocker. That's why I skate factions. Uh, I like to grind. That is my thing. And as soon as I went to go just do a Royale, I mean, literally the first attempt, the, it was, the first thing I noticed was the boot down angle is steep, boy. These are not, I mean, I get it. They have to be tall. They're, they're, they accommodate up to 64 millimeter wheels you're not really going to get around the tallness of it um but boy howdy boy howdy i tell you what the 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 boot down angle ain't nothing to play with on these frames um like again especially coming off uh create originals run anti-rocker that was very pronounced i don't know that personally i have experienced a steeper boot down angle outside of like recreational skates so that was a big adjustment a real big adjustment so that was the first thing i noticed i do want to like talk about some of the good things um they slid fine they slid i mean they're newer frames so it's not a huge surprise but they slid just fine on everything um i should mention too i skated at the daily shred indoor skate park because it was kind of raining out a little bit and I, it may have been top three most miserable sessions I've ever had in my life in terms of uh, like sweating and heat exhaustion and just 
miserable. I woke up that I woke up this morning, that morning, the morning of this video and just felt like trash in the first place. Forced myself to go get to the park and film this video. Um get there, they don't have any AC and it was just so muggy. It was like skating in an actual sauna and it was absolutely brutal. So, for what it's worth, I was not completely on my A game with these frames. I try to take that into account as I'm like reviewing them. Uh, and so anyway, we'll move on. So like I said, the frames skated, I'm um, sorry, they slid well. I like the hardware. I, I, you know, I noticed that too when I'm, uh, when I was mounting them up and everything, the hardware feels really quality, feels really good. Um, I was impressed with that. You know, they come with all the nicks and knacks, the T handles and stuff like that. So that's cool. You know, you got, you got to love, to love the blank branding. It's pretty legit. So, um, and otherwise just a solid feeling frame, you know, feels like a very quality product. A lot like, you know, I skated recently, I skated the blank SK, the blank Sean Keens, and these kind of mimic that. They feel very solid and they feel very quality in your hands. So the quality is 100% there. For me, again, just because I hate a product or love a product does not mean that you're going to love or hate it too. So I'm just giving you my experience based on my experience. But this... But skating these frames was a real struggle for me. A real struggle. Again, two things. One, the boot down angle, mega steep. Holy freaking freaking frick. Boot down angle, crazy steep. Um, it was super, I was just mega, like, listen, I'm a, I'm a little weenie. You know, having that extreme boot down angle for like, you know, even one footed tricks, backslides, torques, like stuff like that. Like I had to like talk myself up to it. Ben, you're going to be okay. And then two, and probably the biggest thing, like the boot down angle. Okay, Roger, I can get used to that um, over time. Got it. Uh, but the when boot down, when you're boot down, this groove basically out of the box, because let's be honest, these really aren't grooved in. Treated a couple slads on them. I did a couple slads on them. These are not grooved in frames, certainly. But as you go boot down, you very quickly start to lose any like discernible groove. And because of the extreme angle that you have to get boot down, that groove starts to go away very fast. So what does that mean? That means you're almost, it almost feels like you're cess sliding on the obstacle. There's almost, I mean, there was plenty of times I try to emphasize in the video too, just to, just to share my experience. But there was plenty of times where, I mean, it just felt like I was basically on rec skates where there wasn't an H block. Um, I will say there wasn't any wheel bite. I definitely didn't get a lick of wheel bite this whole time. I mean, I'm using little 58s with 92s on the inside and they're small. And um, I will say too, I think because the wheels are so small and the frame walls, like these were great for cess line around the park. You just want to be careful about that, about going MotoGP style, getting legs swept, legs swepping. But yeah, so here's the thing. Are these a true grinder blader frame? Maybe. I don't think they are fresh out of the box. I think these are one of those frames that are super great, super versatile. If you want to blast around on 64s and carry a lot more speed, that's rad. I do not recommend, based on my experience, skating these, doing groove, boot down groove tricks until you have grooved these in. I say that without ever having grooved them in. So basically, the next video, the follow on video, as long as Shreddy says it's cool. Shreddy, is it cool if I groove these in? Ryan Johnson's style on a curb. Um, as long as Shreddy says it's cool, I'm going to groove these in and put that to the test. Um, Austin Paz, Austin Paz's girlfriend, Mariah, has the same frames and they found that once they took these to a curb, groove them in, it was night and day. And I expect that to be my experience too. So my plan is to go and groove these in at a curb and go re- test these because I really don't feel like they got a fair shake. Um, maybe they did. I mean, they got a fair shake out of the box, but I feel like these are frames that you need to groove them in pro probably prior to doing groove tricks. So either go to a curb and just or just go to a curb and groove them in by doing grinds, whatever you want to do. Um, I cannot recommend these frames un unless they are grooved in which again, I haven't skated them grooved in, but I can't recommend them in this form. Again, they're solid frames. I think they are super quality material. They feel very solid. I mean, they're great. They're, they're a great product, but for me and my type of skating, which is grinder blading, it's a little tough. It's a little tough. So I am excited to go groove these in, give it another shot, try these out in some different street. I wanted to skate street for these in this video, but unfortunately it was raining. So we went to the park, but <clears throat> groove them in. 
re-attack, make a new video. I hope you'll be there for me, with it, with me, for it. And anyway, Rollerbooters, I hope you enjoyed the video. Listen, I'm not trying to badmouth the frames. I just did not have a great time on them. Um, I think it's just one of those frames that require grooving in before having a really good time. I've heard the same thing about the T-neck frames as well. So anyway, stay tuned for a follow-on video uh, where I test these out again. So um, hey, thanks again, Shreddy. Thank you, Tree. And Rollerbooters, thank you for being here. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you on the next video. Take care.